Traffic lights and roundabouts don't usually go together, but the city of Bend is exploring the possibility. Jillian Fortner says engineers are looking into how this could ease congestion in one area. City officials are exploring different options to improve traffic flow on the Reed Bond roundabout behind me. Bend actually does have a bit of a rush hour now uh, as the city continues to grow. So that intersection in particular, just you see cars backed up, like all the way back up above the old mill. I think it's recognized that there's a problem. There's too many cars. So the question is, what do we do about it? One of those options is adding metered signals to the busy roundabout adjacent to the old mill. It's very similar to what you see on ramps onto highways where you have the lights that just go back and forth to red light, green light. This isn't the first time the city has explored this idea. Yeah, back in 2020, right before COVID hit us all, we did a little experiment out there for about a week. We had a couple days of where we had signals operating and we just used that time to collect a bunch of data. The city study showed mixed results, but Oster says it's worked in states like Washington. So the cost of doing the, the metered system is somewhere around, you know, seven, seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars we estimate. They've also looked into the idea of adding extra lanes, but that would cost five million. If we continue to grow at the rate we are, then maybe in five or ten years we're gonna have to widen the roundabout anyway. It's important to look at the long term picture and the short term and see what we can do about both. At a subcommittee meeting, city councilors were open to signals but wanted a full council discussion. Councilor Ariel Mendez says there are other ways to reduce traffic. Maybe it's driving off hours, maybe it's carpooling, maybe it's better transit, maybe it's safer walking and biking. All of those are going to be cheaper than adding widening lanes all across city. It's kind of this never ending cycle of fixing this bottleneck and then quickly we have to fix this bottleneck because another one has popped up so it feels like whack-a-mole. If you want to share your feedback on these ideas, the counselors encourage you to email council at benorgan.gov. So now, if the city does decide to add the signals, would they operate at all times or just during certain hours? No, they plan to only do it during those peak traffic hours. So let's just say you're driving through at 1130 in the afternoon. It's not going to be on. You're just going to treat it as a regular roundabout. Mm. Well, Interesting. I, I get caught on that roundabout daily. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I could use some help. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you very much. <laughs> Tonight we are asking, do you support a traffic light there at the Reed Market and Bond Street Roundabout? To weigh in, you can head over to our web poll on the KTVZ.com homepage. And you can also just scan that QR code that you see on the left-hand side of your screen. That takes you directly to our online web poll.